do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students today we'll solve question number 13 of jwe mains 2015 physics paper so let us start question number 13 students let's start question number 13 of jwe mains 2015 physics paper the question number 13 is a train is moving on a straight track train is moving on a straight track with speed 20 meter per second it's blowing its whistle at the frequency of 1000 hertz the percentage change in the frequency heard by the observer standing near the track standing near the track means it is not moving it is stationary as the train passes him close to so basically what happens is there is a train which is moving along a track a person is standing over here okay so this train is moving with a speed of 20 meter per second and blowing whistle at the frequency of 1000 hertz so we have a velocity of source and the actual frequency of the source of sound that is 1000 hertz as it approaches the frequency heard by the observer that is the apparent frequency will increase and as the train just passes away just recedes the observer the frequency will drop so while approaching and while receding there is a increase and decrease of frequency and you have to find the percentage change in the frequency of sound heard by the observer so this will be the difference of the frequency the increase minus decrease divided by the original or actual frequency into 100 this is what is the solution to this question so let us solve this so this is a track on which the train is moving with a velocity of uh, velocity of train that is velocity of source 20 meter per second this is uh, sending the actual frequency coming out to be actual frequency is a uh, 1000 the person is standing here near a track somewhere here as the train approaches him he will hear a frequency say and s and when the train receives him moves away from him he will hear a frequency and double dash in this case this frequency is greater in this case this frequency will be smaller the actual frequency is this so you have to use the formula to to find the percentage change percentage change in the frequency to find the percentage change the percentage change n dash minus n double dash divided by n into 100 this is how you to solve it so now to find n dash this is the case when the, the observer is at rest and the source is moving towards the observer so in that case the formula becomes n the actual frequency v divided by v minus vs because the velocity of the observer is zero i can write something plus minus here we not but then uh, the velocity of the observer is zero so this equation will become nv divided by v is one now substitute the values or not substituting the values also we can proceed further to solve if i put the value this will be 1000 velocity of sound given is uh, 
320 meter per second. 320 divided by 320 minus source speed 20. So this comes out to be 1000. 320 divided by 300. Now <clears throat> this is uh, 1000 into 32 divided by 30. This is uh, 100 into 32.3 which comes out to be which comes out to be this will be nearly 3 1 the 3 10 the 30 so it is a uh, 10.2036 so 10 point something 10.6 something so <clears throat> so it is a uh, I'll write 10.66 so if I multiply 100, this will be 1066.67 hertz. This is the frequency of the frequency, apparent frequency heard by the observer. In the first case, the train is approaching the observer. Now, the change will be heard when the train moves away from the observer and there will be drop of frequency that is n double dash that will calculate now using the formula n double dash is the original frequency into velocity of the speed of sound because the observer is accurate so there is no velocity of the observer here it will be v plus vs because it is decreasing so it is plus thousand putting the value so substituting the values we have this situation cancel zeros and divide these two and multiply with thousand this is less than one so it will be less than thousand if i if you calculate this this approximately comes out to be 941.1 hertz one seven say so we have got frequencies while approaching while receding and we will use the formula that uh, initially we have written the change in frequency the change in percentage change in frequency with this formula n dash and n double dash and n everything all the quantities are known to us so percentage change in frequency equals to if i put the value that comes out to be that uh, first we got uh, thousand sixty six point six seven thousand sixty six point six seven minus this time we got nine forty one point one seven divided by the actual frequency thousand into hundred this you cut this in ten so if you subtract that you will get uh, around <coughs> If you substitute that, you will get uh, 941 and then 10.66, you will get 12 point, you will get 12 point 5, 5 percentage, which is nearly equal to, which you say nearly equal to, if you see the options, you see the options, you see that is 6, 12, 18, 24, so this is more closer so approximately you can write 12 percent in fact it is 12.55 but options if you see the options if you round up this then it is 12 percent so option number two is correct so this is a 
answer to this question okay thank you